This is Twit. We're doing a little love-hate thing here. I would say that one of the things that I love, and it may seem like not a big deal. Here, let me uh, disable Bluetooth so that I can show it. Um, is the security uh, features. Well, we've talked plenty of times about Smart Lock. Which Smart Lock's uh, cool. Which is great because it, you know, yeah. it kind of detects that if my my watch is connected to it, it bypasses my pin. It wanted to set up Smart Lock in my zip car, and I was like, no, no, no. Um, that. It's not my car. <laughs> I love the the pin entry screen. For so, I know this sounds I know this sounds ridiculous. I realize I fully realize it. But one of the things that I hated about older versions of Android is that the you'd you'd go to do your pin pin and it was this tiny little box down here yeah. and it just didn't feel integrated. It felt like an afterthought. Yeah. And now I don't know. It's this it's the 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 smallest thing it's I think. Things, but man. you do this so many times when you have a pin assigned to your phone and having a nice kind of easy to use pin entry yep. for security. For some reason every time I I have to enter the pin I'm like, man, this is so much better than it used to be. Yep. It's yep. so much better. Um one of the things that I can't stand in Lollipop is the ringer and volume management. Which I love. Oh man, I hate I it. I thought it's great. I hate it. Um I mean I think there there are there are positives, right? Yeah. So basically what it what it is is you can set it to none so n absolutely nothing gets through indefinitely or for, for however long. You can set it to priority and that's based yeah. on you know priority settings that you can have inside an app and that's great. That's and you programmable. Could, and, and, and you can change that you can change that within me messages per person and right. things like that. You know? yeah. Yep. And then uh, you have all which basically lets everything through. I think what I don't like about the volume management is it's not always clear exactly what's going to happen, particularly when I'm watching content. So say I'm laying in bed late at night, my wife's sleeping, sound asleep next to me, and I want to watch a YouTube video, but I want to make sure that the volume's down before I hit play. Yeah. There is no easy way for me to do that from here the way you used to get at least a settings icon uh, going up and down before I hit that play. Like I don't yeah. have those. I have the, to actually go into settings, so the lowest go to sound, and do it there. And it's just, it's so many steps to, That's like, a good why, point. why isn't that integrated anymore? So I don't get it. The lowest level on the volume rocker takes you to vibrate. It doesn't take you to off anymore. Right. Basically, what you need to do is if you need to go off, you, 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 go, to you, none. you, you go to none. And then you've got to tell it for how long, indefinitely, or for an hour or whatnot. You know, right. so that's, you know, so in this case, you know, here I am. And so I'm going to go boom. And I go none. And I can adjust how long that is. Yeah. I love this because nothing gets through and I can sleep and I don't get any. Yeah, but then nice. actually I was worried about it the other night because I'm like, what if something happens? Right. Like, well, what if I need to get interrupted? That's why, that's I, why, I, that's why I still use agent. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> See, But it's closer. <laughs> it's neat. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, I I shouldn't say that I hate everything about the ringer and volume management. I like parts of it. I think they they were on the right track. But other parts of it are just more confusing. And I've been playing, you know, I've been using Lollipop long enough that I feel like it's not like this knee-jerk reaction to change. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and it's still confusing to me. It's better with this version than it was on the uh, the developer preview, so they worked yeah. some things out. But it's, it kind of makes it almost too simple in some ways, and you don't have full control unless you dive into the settings. And for something that you're probably going to do a lot of, managing your volume on your device, uh, probably should be a little bit easier than that. Uh, so, uh, Derek, what do you think? What what are your What's your love and what's your hate on Lollipop? Well, as, as you mentioned, I'm a huge fan of Smart Lock. Uh, but besides Smart Lock, I really like the the heads up notification. So if I'm, let's say, you know, browsing a web page, or oh yeah, at the top, right, or you know, playing a game or something, and then I get a phone call, or I get a Hangouts message, or a text message, or something like that, it doesn't, you know, take over the whole entire screen just because I got a phone call. It just pops up, you know, a little bar at the top of the screen, Man. allowing you to answer the phone call if you want to answer it, or Hard to or show off here. Or, or you can swipe it away, you know, right. if, if it's a message. And it just allows you to continue to your work, whatever you're working on, without the focus being stolen. I mean, who's been playing a game or watching a video, you know, and you get a phone call, you get a yeah. message or something, and, you know, it takes over your screen. It's not that big of a deal. It's just, you know, slightly annoying. But it's nice that now that doesn't happen anymore. I love it. I, it happens all the time and you don't have to deal with that pain anymore. Well, it's, that, that touches on one of my, one of my, the, my biggest enemies in technology, which uh, the hate I, I, I built from it started in Windows, which was the uh, on focus, stealing on focus. Uh, when you're working on something and something else pops up and takes away the focus of what you're working on, there's nothing more annoying than that because it's, there's, it's the equivalent of just walking up to somebody and shoving them. 
you know, and, like, <laughs> yeah. and and for some reason, early in the early days of UIs, we did that all the time. Google still does it with uh, calendar. I I use Gmail and I use Google Calendar. I use it all in the browser. When I have a meeting pop up, it steals focus, changes the tab to the calendar. It drives me nuts, and let, you know. And so I'm totally with you with those notifications not stealing that focus and letting you keep doing what you were doing mm -hmm. is way smooth and super nice. Mm -hmm. so. Now, uh, lock screen notifications, Ron. You mentioned uh, lock screen. Yep. I, maybe it's just because I can't figure it out, but <laughs> I love the lock screen notifications, but I swear I struggle every day when I get one to figure out how do I actually open it? You know, do I do I double click it? Do I swipe up? You know, I, I, maybe it's because I'm coming from the Moto X. I'm used to swiping up to, to read that notification. But when you have multiple ones, I don't know. I, I can't figure it out. And it's probably just me and do you use a thing. Do you use a pin lock? Uh, do you use security on your, on your phone? I, or... I, no, I normally do, but... Uh, Smart lock takes it away uh, most of the time. Yeah, oh, no, it's, like, it's, what's funny is because I don't use smart lock and I've got a pin, so it doesn't matter what I want to do. I got to put in the pin number anyway, which I feel like kind of takes away the notification interaction. Like, yeah. like that's yeah. one thing that I hate having to use a pin. I hate, like because I, I think if it didn't, it'd be so much more smoother. But yeah, I know what you're talking about, Derek. Um, there are some times where I'll tap a notification, and it doesn't quite launch into the app the way you think it's going to. It's like the notification bar just like bumps. Yep. And you're like, yeah, okay, now yeah. what? Oh, okay, I'll tap it again, but that does nothing. Mm -hmm. You have to like swipe it all away in order to go. Yes, yeah, so it, it can get confusing. Do we miss lock screen widgets? I don't. You don't? No. Derek? Yeah, I, I never used them. I mean, maybe when they first came out, I was like, wow, look at all these cool lock screen widgets. Mm -hmm. You know, a month later, wow, I'm not using them anymore. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I don't well, know. I I, I used them. I used you. See, you guys saw my big battery widget that I had mm -hmm. on there on my yeah, Nexus Seven. I mean, like I used that. I I I used a bunch of them. And I, and so when I got the phone, I went to go set up all my lock screen widgets, and I was like, oh wait, they're not there anymore. Nope. Sad.